Hello gamers, this is Sai, and welcome back to Which Way Games. Now, why should you be careful when feeding a plant? And with that being said, let's go on with the video. Now, who knew that an earthworm could be so handy with a gun? It's all about the super suit, if you ask me. And did you know, Sai, that Earthworm Jim was also a cartoon? What? You do know the Summer of Sonic's over, right? Yeah, what's your point? Then why are you still wearing my hoodie? Well, I think it looks better on me than it does on you. That, that doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. Anyway, Sai, it's my turn to make a video this week, so you know what that means. Oh, I'll sit here quietly while you talk about a cartoon. Exactly. And this week, I'm talking about Jason the Wild Warriors. So sit back and listen to my angelic voice. Yeah, a voice that can wake up the dead. The decade of the 80s was blessed with some amazing cartoons. Cartoons such as Mask, Thundercats and the fantastic Transformers. Each of these cartoons would tantalise viewers and go on to create legions of fans all over the world. The adventures of Optimus Prime and even Lino have certainly stood the test of time and usually from a successful cartoon, a toy counterpart would be made, allowing viewers to get their hands on some of the magic that they saw on the TV. Wow. However, things were different when it came to Jace and the Wild Warriors, but to understand the cartoon, we have to go back to where it all started. Unlike other toy lines such as He-Man and G.I. Joe, toy company Mattel thought they could release a successful toy line without the need for a cartoon. And so the World Warriors toy line was created, consisting of the Lightning League and the Monster Mind. The Lightning League toys had their own faceless drivers, while the Monster Mind have squishy brain-like creatures, adding as sentient beings for the Monster Mind vehicles. However, one feature that made these vehicles unique at the time were the interchangeable parts that each corresponding faction could use. Although this was fun at the time, it was overshadowed by more successful toys that already established a fan base thanks to a cartoon counterpart. Groovy baby! And so to spark interest in their failing World Warriors toy line, Mattel turned towards industry giants Dick Entertainment for help. Taking the concept of what Mattel had already established, Dick Entertainment built upon this foundation and from there created characters that would drive the vehicles of the Lightning League and the Monster Mind. And so Jason the World Warriors was created, hitting the small screen in late 85 and impressing viewers of the era. Oh really? The story of Jason the World Warriors focuses on the young hero Jace as he searches for his father Audric. Audric was a genius botanist and from his experimentations, he wanted to create a miracle crop that could thrive in any environment and end hunger throughout the galaxy. Audric manages to create this miracle crop, however this victory is short-lived when a solar flare sends a burst of radiation over the miracle crop. This wave of energy causes the crop to mutate into evil sentient beings known as the Monster Mind, who would be led by the terrifying saw boss. Knowing that his life as well as the galaxy is in danger, Audric creates the magical root, which is capable of destroying the monster mine. Yes, science! But before he can act out this task, Audric is forced to flee his lab, but he splits the magical root in two and gives the other half to his servant, Oon. Oon manages to track down Jace, and from there, an adventure among the stars begins with the mission of stopping the evil Tinnery of Sorbos and the Monster Mind. Jace and the Wild Warriors had a 65th episode run that started with a fantastic intro and an amazing soundtrack that sets the stage for the adventure. 
Yes! Now, although Jace was the hero, he wouldn't be alone when it came to taking on the forces of evil. The companions that were loyal to Jace consisted of Flora, Oon and Gillian, each of whom would drive one of the vehicles within the Lightning League. Flora was a humanoid girl that was actually a plant but with telepathic powers. Oon was a childlike squire from Knights of Old. And Gillian was a wizard set to be thousands of years old. You're old! However, one character that seemed out of place was Herc Storm Sailor, who was a mix between Bruce Campbell and Han Solo, but obsessed with gold. I love gold! Now, not only did Jace have the support of the Lightning League, he also had an ace up his sleeve in the form of a magical ring that would come to his aid in moments of peril, a bit like the Sword of Omens. Throughout various episodes, Jace and his Lightning League would be on the search for Audric but their willingness to help those in need always put them two steps behind. Jason the World Warriors was popular with viewers of the 80s and fitted perfectly with other cartoons sharing the small screen. Such was the popularity of Jason the World Warriors that there were talks of having a feature film created that would possibly lead into another season, very much like Thundercats and He-Man. However, the success of the toy line was the driving factor behind the possibility of Jace and his friends appearing on the big screen. However, due to the poor sales of the toy line, this never came to be, which is a shame, as I would love to have seen a continuation of the story. Overall, Jace and the World Warriors is a testament to the decade of the 80s, with over-the-top action, some memorable characters, as well as a fantastic soundtrack that has stood the test of time. What I'd love to see in the future is a continuation of the story, wrapping up that cliffhanger ending and perhaps beginning a whole new adventure among the stars. I'll tell you what, Jason and World Warriors looks like a decent cartoon. And trust me, Cy, you would love it. I'm sure I will, cartoon guy, but I've got a question for you. It better not be like last time where you told me to pull your finger. <laughs> no, but that was funny. Yeah, funny for you. I feel sorry for the cat. Oh, she's fine. Although I don't think she'll look at Broccoli the same way again. Anyway, my question is, when are you going to do a top 10 cartoons list? I promise I'll make it soon. Oh, and by the way, I've ordered you something. What, for my birthday, you mean? Of course, yes. Birthday. Birthday indeed. What's up with you? Oh, nothing, sir. I've phased out a few times. Anyway, i best be going. I've got a video to make. I'm sure he's not right. Anyway, come back next time where the forces of evil have to go up against an earthworm in a super suit. Thank you so much for watching and see you next game.